Hey everybody, welcome back. So we have a yoga class for you today. It's a little bit of a longer one and it's to help with detoxification and digestion. So I think you'll get some really cool pointers and you're gonna feel really good afterwards. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome back. Digestion, detox, we all need it, right? It's a good thing to do on a regular basis. Um, and I find that a regular yoga practice does that anyway, uh, but there are some specific, specific yoga poses that can help us do that. Um, so two main things for a good digest digestion habits, for good digestive habits, I can't even talk today. Um, and also detox is to drink plenty of water, which we all know, right? Um, whatever that means to you. Everybody has their own regimen. Um, half your body weight in calorie in, in ounces of water is a good kind of um, a good guide to follow. Um, but also chewing the food that we eat chew, 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 chew really well before we swallow it is gonna help the body to digest it without as much turmoil. So that's gonna help too. So lots of water and chew your food, you know what I mean? Okay, besides that, we can do some nice yoga poses to help us out. So let's take a blanket, let's have a blanket handy and a block handy. And we're gonna start on our bellies. Your blanket, just move it to the side for a moment and come onto your belly. You wanna get nice and comfy on the belly. So you're gonna rest your head and just take a moment to notice what your belly feels like today. Does it feel full? Does it feel sore? Does it feel inflamed? All right, just take little notes here on how you feel. And then breathe deeply into the body. And notice how you feel with the breath. Are you able to inhale deeply and exhale completely? And continue that same inhale, exhale pattern. And notice the deeper that you breathe, right? Sending that breath down deep into the base of the lungs and focusing on pushing the belly out is helping us to get a little massage for the belly on the floor. And layer your breath with whatever yoga breath you practice or that you enjoy. I'm gonna layer mine with a little ujjayi. So we're squeezing the back of the throat with that one, just slightly, creating an ocean sounding breath. Some like to call it a Darth Vader breath. But if you visualize fogging a mirror in front of your face and then close your mouth, it uses those throat muscles in the same manner. You're gonna bend your knees, let your breath be as natural as it feels comfortable, and then rock your lower legs from side to side. So let's go slowly here. And again, notice what this does for your belly. You know, we're trying to relax those muscles to help relax this intestines that are living inside this part of the body, helping to increase peristalsis, which is the contraction and releasing of the colon to help get what we need to get out, out of the body. Good, lower your legs down behind you. Take a deep breath in, 
Relax your feet. Relax and breathe. Good. Allow your hands to come underneath your shoulders and gently push your body up and back. So let's keep the knees together. And we're gonna come into a child's pose with the knees together. So feet are touching and we're gonna sit back onto the heels. Now this is gonna be the fun part. You ready? Take your blanket and it's folded. My blanket is folded in half and then in half again. It's quite a small little fold here. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna roll it up just enough of a roll so that I can pull it up and tuck it at the base of my belly. This is gonna be interesting. Now the block is gonna be for our head. We're gonna lift the belly up as high as we can and we're gonna fold the body over this rolled up blanket. The rib cage is right there above the roll. We don't want it to be crushing the rib cage. And then my blanket, my, my, my block, blah, 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 is gonna come out in front of me and I'm just gonna rest my head down onto this block. Now, if the block is not tall enough for you, you can use two blocks. If your blanket feels like it's too much, unroll it a little bit. Remember, we're pushing it gently down into the belly and we're lifting the rib cage up and over and resting down. You don't need to have a big bulge of a blanket, right? But enough so that you feel the massage on the colon. Take some nice long deep breaths in and out. And your arms are resting here. You can, if you'd like, extend them a little bit longer to add some stretch to this posture. Helping to elongate your torso up and over that little roll. And trying to rest as much as we can. Deep breathing in and out. Good. Allow your hands to gently walk back and push yourself up to your seat. Block is gonna move to the side. We're gonna take the blanket again and we're gonna open it out now. So I wanna make a big blanket, fold it in half and then fold it again in half the long way. And then I'm gonna take my long edge of that and I'm gonna fold that up into a tri-fold. So it's a flat fold. And then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take that in front of me, keeping it long. Good. Now the end that's closest to you is gonna roll up just one time. I'm gonna take a deep breath in. I'm doing a lot of taking. And I'm gonna lay my body, now this is important, gotta move my little, my little tie here. I only wanna roll this up one little time, the edge of my, the end of my long blanket is gonna be enough. Now you have two pelvic bones here on the sides and then a pubic bone. You want the blanket to be in between those pelvic bones that are at the front there. So we lay down onto this and we, make sure it's placed right in between the pelvic bones there and above the pubic bone. At first, this might feel, might give you a feeling of achiness in your colon, but just hang out for a second. Keep your arms the way that mine are in sphinx posture and let your shoulders relax. And once you start to breathe deeply and feel those areas of tension in your colon, relax a little bit, then you can little by little lay down. So once you're ready, you can lay right down onto your belly and rest your head. Now, if the blanket does not feel like a thick enough roll for your 
lower belly there, then by all means, bring yourself up and back. Reroll it. And lay back down onto it. And here again, we're going to relax as much as we can and take some nice deep breaths in and out. If you're here for a few breaths and you start to feel more relaxed, that might be the time for you to create a thicker roll on the blanket. Soften your jaw. And take some nice deep breaths again. And try to relax whatever's happening in this body. And letting go of tension and stress in and around the colon. Long, deep breaths. Good. In a similar fashion, we're going to lift our head, bring the hands under, give ourselves a little push up, slide the blanket to one side. Now you might want to keep the blanket and just roll it up a little bit thicker or take your block and use that now in the same manner. When you lay down onto the block, you want it to fit in between your pelvic bones and right above your pubic bone. Whoa. You know what I mean? This is quite intense. So only do what feels good for you. But now that your colon has softened up a little bit you, from using the blanket, this might be kind of okay. Either way, try to relax. And once you little by little feel a little bit more relaxed and open, you can lower your head towards the floor or another block. I'm gonna roll up my blanket. This is another way you can do it. Create your own little block. It's so cute. And then just rest your head. The more you can relax, the better. And for women, this is a great thing for your, your female organs. We're creating some space. We're kind of pushing them around a little bit. Think of them getting a little adjustment. A happy adjustment. Not getting smushed, right? They're just, when you're coming out of the posture, that's when the blood flows into all these places. Right, and they get set back into the place where they're meant to be, but maybe they've had a little adjustment. Relax and breathe a little bit more. And creating space in the belly. Maybe you feel this on your lower back as well, right? There's your psoas muscle that we're pressing into here with the block, which is connected to your back. So maybe you can feel that too. The dog is bored. She just huffed. Good. Let's slowly, slowly lift the head, bring the arms back a little bit, give yourself a, t a moment here to breathe, and then you're going to slowly curl the toes, put
push yourself back and open the knees up for a child's pose. You're gonna sit back to the heels, the block goes to the side and extend the arms forward for a child's pose. Rest your head all the way down and breathe into the back body. How long can you stretch through those fingertips? Expand the back body and try to let everything go. Good. Hands are going to slide back. We're going to rise up to our seat. We're going to take this blanket and just like we had the roll before, we're going to take it, but this time we're going to roll it up on the long edge. So you don't have to do much unfolding. So you're going to roll it up on that long edge and the same premise that we had before, but this time when we bent forward, but this time we're going to do it bending over with the body. Okay. So you're going to take this rolled up blanket. You're going to Step your feet in a forward bend. The belly is pulling up and over that roll and your body is bowing down. Your head is heavy. If this is a lot for you, use your blocks underneath your hands. You can have one block or two blocks and you can make this blanket as thick as it feels good to pull that belly, that rib cage up and over the roll. Let your head hang. Soften your jaw. Notice how you feel. Let something go here. <sighs> Tension, stress. <sighs> Good. Try bending the knees here and noticing the added massage that you can get on that lower belly. Breathing deeply. Good. And then bowing again. Good. Bending. Let's do one more bend. Good, and one more bow. Let your head hang. <sighs> Good, let's bend these knees. Hands walk forward, make our way down to the floor. And so your blanket can act as a comfy thing now. For your neck, you're gonna roll it up. Just a little bonus. We're gonna lay on the, on the back with our neck on that roll. Delicious, perfect, good. Once you're on your back, just take a moment, notice how you feel, you can fix your wardrobe. <laughs> and then hug your right knee into your belly. Ah, <sighs> good. Bring your left leg long to the floor. I'm rolling my, my neck roll up a little bit thicker. Feels good. I want this neck roll to support the curve of my neck. I want to keep that curve, keep it healthy and support it. So the right knee is going to hug in. It's good to do the right side first because that's where the ascending colon is. So we want to push everything up that right side and then push it down the left side, if you know what I mean. Relax and breathe. <sighs> also known as the wind relieving pose, for those of you who would like to know that information. Inhale deeply. Wind is such a nice way of saying it, you know what I mean? We don't say that anymore. We say other words that are funny. Funny words in the English language. Wind is really, it's not fun. It's, it's like very proper, you know? 
it's a proper way to say, to speak of a bodily function. Let the shoulders completely relax. Now take that right knee and let's circle it around in one direction. The hope here is to massage the belly with your right thigh. You know, and if, you're, if your right thigh is having trouble reaching the belly, the movement is going to be good anyway, so don't worry. Just feeling that movement on the back body. And then circle the opposite direction. Are you breathing? There's a question for you. Yes, Kara, I'm breathing. Thank you for the reminder. <sighs> Try to let something go. If it's wind, it's wind. Let the wind go. Let's hug the right knee in. Let the shoulders relax and feel your left leg extending nice and long forward out of your pelvis. <sighs> Good. How do you feel? I hope you're feeling delicious. Good. Let's take this right foot very gently down to the floor. Extend that leg long and hug the left knee in. You can always bend the opposite knee if your back is hurting at all. You can also lift your head up a little bit higher if your back is hurting. And let's just hang out here for a moment. Feel the pull of that left knee in towards the belly and reach the right leg long from that hip. And we're breathing deeply, belly, ribs, and chest, and we're exhaling all the breath out of the body. You're doing a great job, by the way, I can see you. I can see you very clearly, you're doing wonderfully. Let's circle the left knee in one direction Take your time as you circle. This is how we tell our body that we love it. Circle the opposite way. And of course, drinking a lot of water and chewing our food. Coming back to that. Chew, 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 chew. Let's hug this left knee in again. Relax the jaw. Hmm. Shoulders. Forehead, face. Good. Let's plant that left foot down. Ah. Let's plant the right foot alongside the left. I'm going to shift a little bit. We're going to come into a little twist. This is a really great way to add to our detox. Hug both knees in. And let's drop the knees down to the right side. Taking the arms out to a T. Ooh. If you would like. Block between the thighs is a nice option here. Oh, it feels so good. Take another few deep breaths here. Try to extend the arms, left shoulder towards the ground. <sighs> Visualize what's happening in this body as we bring messages of a deep, Relaxation. <sighs> Softening the jaw. And letting everything relax. In this moment, you have nothing else to do. This is it. In this moment, just breathe. 
Just relax. Giving those internal organs a nice little squeeze here. Nice hug. And the idea is when we come out of that twist, lifting the knees up to center, shifting hips a little bit to the right, knees up towards the belly, drop down to the left. Ooh, when we come out of these squeezes, it helps to bring a blood flow to those areas that we were squeezing. That's the whole idea. So we're irrigating those organs that we're squeezing when we come out of the squeeze. It's a beautiful thing. Let that right shoulder relax down towards the floor and send the breath deeply into the belly, ribs and chest. <sighs> what messages are you sending to your body? today. Do you want it to work hard? What things are you eating that are making this body work harder? Or are you eating things and putting things in your body that don't make it work so hard, right? It doesn't have to be stressed to break down the food because we chewed it up really small because we're such great people. We're so nice to this body. Allow your knees to slowly rock back to center. Take your block to the side if you have it there. And if, as your hips shift to center, you're gonna hug the knees into the belly and give one last little squeeze to the belly muscles, breathing deeply. Great, great, great. Plant the feet to the floor. Good, extend the legs, arms alongside, palms face up. And for the grand finale, we have a nice Shavasana to finish off our practice. And I'm gonna leave you here so that you can enjoy that for the next several minutes as you need. The deeper the breath, the better. Help to invoke more relaxation to seal the great work that you just did for this body. Deep breathing. And deep letting go. Soften and breathe. Please let me know your thoughts, your comments. Send me an email. Write to us. Let us know what else that you'd like to see in some yoga videos. And I hope that you have an amazing day today. Any questions, let us know. Namaste.